today we're going to look at how to create text in Photoshop CS5. Uh, if you haven't done it already, please open up Photoshop and go along the top of your screen. You'll see Photoshop and then File. Click on File and a drop down menu will appear. Um, create New, so press on New, and we're going to call this uh, Video Title. So we're going to call it video title, and the width of our project is going to be 1280 pixels. The height is going to be 720 pixels. The resolution 72 pixels per inch, leaving it in RGB color mode. And we want a tra transparent background because we're going to use this title in uh, Premiere when we do a video project, which is going to come later on today. So press OK. And it automatically, with those, it comes up and says pixel aspect ratio is for preview purposes only. Turn it off for maximum image quality. So I'm going to go into view and turn off the pixel aspect ratio correction. Now, first thing I'm going to do is find the text tool. And down our left hand column of tools here, you'll see like two thirds of the way down, you'll see there's the text tool. And you click on that and hold down, you'll see that you can do horizontal type vertical type, horizontal mask type mask tool, and a vertical type mask tool. We're just going to stick with the horizontal type tool today. And you'll find that there's, depending on your computer, but in the, now a text dialog box has come up at the top of the screen. Uh, you'll find you have hundreds, if you've got them loaded on your computer, but you may have hundreds of different texts. I wanted to choose a fairly fat, bulky one today so we could do some effects on it. So I've chosen this incised one. So we'll just click and stick with that. And because it's a title, you'll see here you've got the layout. You can do a left justified, a right justified, or a center. And um, I'm going to use a, t a center justified for a title. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag my um, guide in because we've got 1280 so at um, 640 is the center of the screen so if you take your cursor along and um, just do a grab edge there you'll see you get a, a guide will come out and you can actually take that along to where you want it so I've already got mine there but that's how you do that and then click with your cursor right there on that line and that's your central starting point so I'm going to just put video title Video title for multimedia. Certificate three. Mill and Bar. Oh, I'm better do it properly. It's going M U R W I L L U M B A H. Okay, as you can see, it's a nice fat text, so it will take a little bit of embellishing quite well. One of the things you may notice is the spacing is very important in this. And what I've done with the spacing, if you highlight yours, yours may be much closer together. There's a text dialog box uh, here on the top row as well, next to just near the color. It's 10 hours. And if we grab this there, you'll see we've got this dialog box comes up. And you can actually choose uh, how far apart the lines are going to be. So this is 72 point, uh, the size of the text. If I make it 72 point, they're all on top of each other. So what I did was I went and uh, made mine a lot thicker. I almost doubled it. I went to 136, no, 132. And there is how you get that. If you want the um, text closer together, and in titling, that's not necessarily a good idea because you need to be able to read it clearly, uh, understanding there's going to be movement happening underneath that title. So I'm going to leave it at that and we're just going to go accept. And here's the accept. You have to click that tick. And if you're not going to accept it, you click the little no entry sign and you don't go there. But we're going to go there. We can change the color of the text if we highlight it. And we click on color here. You get the color picker come up. Um, white is a terrible color for um, titles but I'm going to use it in this case because I want to do a little, a few other things to it. Now, as you can see, it's hard to see. So now that we're dealing with white, we know we've got to do a few other things. Bring the layers dialog box over. And uh, we've got the FX 
just the letters FX down in the bottom of that window and a layer style. So we can first of all add a drop shadow. And by default, when you open it in Drop Shadow, you will get the dialog box here for any changes you may want to make to the Drop Shadow. What I usually do on a video title is I will give it a bit more distance, just to make it pop up off the screen a bit more. I'll give it a tiny bit of spread, only one or two percent. One there, that's two. And size, well, if you go crazy on the size, you it just blurs out on you. So you have to bring the size back. You need to keep it sort of like fairly focused to get a nice clear um, shadow. And so I'm going to leave it at that. But I'm going to look at some of the other options here. You can do an inner shadow, which gives an impression that the text is actually uh, in, punched into what the background is. You can put a bevel and emboss on it, which puts a... a um, like a curved edge around it, makes it look more 3D. But looking at that, it's not as clean to read, so I'm not going to stay with a bevel and emboss. We can do a color overlay. Yeah, what a terrible color. Uh, we can do a gradient overlay. So as you can see there, the gradient doesn't go across each letter, it goes across the whole screen. So that's as if the gradient was going to be across the whole screen. And I am going to put a gradient over this. So I'm going to come down here and choose um, orange to blue or yellow to violet. I think I'll go for yellow to violet and I'll go o to that, OK to that. Now you see here in the gradient dialog there is a scale. You can reduce it and you'll get a much more uh, confined gradient or you can expand it and the gradient will spread and give you a greater spread of colour so that each line appears a different colour which looks a little bit tacky so uh, but I'm just going to leave it because we're going to experiment. And the other thing I want to add is I want to add some stroke around it just to give it another edge to lift it off the video behind it. In this case, as you can see, the letters have started to blur. They've started to come together because the edge is a little bit thick. So you click on stroke and you get a dialog box there. And I'd come down to two pixels. And I often find white is a very good color on video because there's usually darker things happening behind it. So believe that like that. That's okay. Now let's save that. So you can just go Command S or you can come down to your File, Save menu, a video title, PSD, uh, and just save it to the desktop. There we go. Now what you'll find is sometimes when you import that into a program, you will lose the all the effects that you did on the text. It'll actually just take the text in. So you may not have your shadow, your outline, and your uh, gradient if you just use the Photoshop file. So we need to make another file to actually get, get exported into a video program. So what I normally do is we want one to carry an alpha channel. So we just leave it as video title, but instead of Photoshop, we come down the list to PNG, because PNG will carry that uh, transparent layer with it. And it will also embed the drop shadow and the edge and the gradient. So we've got it now saved as a PNG as well to the desktop. So you can just close that, close out of Photoshop altogether if you like, and what we'll do is uh, we'll just bring that up and you'll see that it'll come and see how it's got just a, a grey background on my Apple here, that is the preview background. But what I wanted to do is I just wanted to open up a program, let's have a look in Keynote, here we go, something I prepared a little bit earlier. I'll put a new page in, Get rid of that, get rid of that, and just drag in a picture of mine, which is quite a full-on picture, really. So we, oh, we may as well shrink that down a bit. And because it's so full-on, I'm going to reduce the transparency, just so that we can see the titling better. And I'm going to grab my video title PNG and just drop it on there, which is what will happen in a video program. And as you can see, I've got a pretty bright colored background and the video title stands out pretty well. So I think I've achieved my outcome there. And uh, you will have grab handles to control the size of it. Sometimes you might see it and you think, oh, it takes up a bit too much of the screen. So you can uh, grab, you know, in Premiere Pro and in After Effects, there are controls there to control the size of it. So that is how we create text and a title 
in Photoshop.